Hey there, mobile entrepreneurs. Let's go back here and to TechPress once again. I'm going to be showing you how to get started to setting up your own Shopify store right from your mobile device. So before we dive in, you wanted to make sure that hit the subscribe button, type the like icon. So let's transform this business into the reality. First of all, downloading and installing Shopify application. Whether you have iOS or you have another, that totally doesn't matter. What you wanted to do is to get started into the App Store or into the Play Store, choose Shopify and then hit into install. Now, as you can see, uh, we do have the preview how it's going to be looking your store. Sometimes it's much more faster to use the phone. Everybody does into the computer. But here in today's tutorial, it's going to focus into this new Shopify section of your mobile. So first of all, let's go here into download. Once I hit into download, you should see that the application should be downloaded in no time. Awesome. We have downloaded the Shopify. Now let's click on it. And now it's going to be asking you to sign into your new account. So as you should see here, it says start selling online with Shopify. Now, in this case, what you wanted to do is to choose the option that says get started. Now it's going to be asking you which of this best describes you. If you don't know how to get started, choose skip to all. But if you wanted to follow along, choose I am just starting. You wanted to sell an online store. You wanted to sell, of course, into social media and keep now into next. If you don't know what do you plan to sell first, what you wanted to do is to choose I will decide later and choose now to next. Now, it's really important to choose the business located in order to have the really great elements, depending on what is the country you're currently living. Now, it's going to be asking you, Shopify wants to use Shopify.com to sell an answer. What you wanted to do is to choose continue. And now it's going to be asking you to create a Shopify account. So once again, guys, you have the link down below in the description so you can all get started into Shopify totally for free. And then later on, you might be having a huge deal in order to continue. Now, what you want to do is to either create a Shopify account or to log into your Shopify. In our case, what you want to do is to choose to sign in with the account of an actual client. So I'm going to go for doing next time. Now, this feels like this actually not working uh, really fast. Sometimes it can be crushed. Sometimes it does like you're just buckling up. But you don't have to worry about that because the actual store is not being created. So now, as you can see, we are inside the actual store. So now what you wanted to do in order to get started is to building your mobile store. Now, time to get hands-on. I will show you how to use the Shopify application to add products, customize your store, uh, make unique use. So first of all, let's get started to uh, adding the setup guide. Inside the setup guide, what you wanted to do is to focus into adding your first product. If you already know how to add a product, I'm going to go here into add product. And as you can see, we have the product title, the description, the sales channel, the variance, the inventory, the shipping, the category, bundle, and the text. So add the stuff as you're willing to get started. Say, for example, like a t-shirt, for example, I can add the description. Now, this is a product, for example. I keep now into saved. I can add my own variants and I keep now into saved. As you can see, it's going to be appearing here, the name of my product here and add the stock product. Now, if I go back, you should see that we have the product already been added up. Customizing your online store should be really, really fast by just choosing an actual right uh, store uh, theme. So I'm going to hit into edit the theme of my uh, Shopify. In this case, is the spotlight. Usually what everybody does is to choose another theme. So if you want to try that out, you can do that. But in my case, I just want to focus into this actual homepage. As you can see, have something really easy to get started with. For example, as you can see, here's my T-shirt, how it actually looks. I'm going to go for the three dots. I have the theme settings. In the theme settings, what it can do is to add my specific logo. I can add the desktop logo with them. I have the colors. I have the headline, description, image, everything that has to be related into my store. So take your time to edit all of those elements. Then later on, what you can do is just to go back. You can add an image here, or you can explore free images if you wanted to, to add this directly into your store. So if I go, for example, here to explore free images here and to search, for example, let's say that I choose a gaming category, right? So I have this option, I have this other option. So I choose the best suits for me. Let's say, for example, this one. So I choose it, I hit into done. And now my image should be imported into my store. Really, really easy process, actually. And you can change the image width. You can change all of this later. You can have here, of course, your own social media and hit now into saved. 
adding applications should be helping you to get started for example like a drop shipping print on demand products all of that uh really really easy process guys but this is how we can all get started for example like in a very easy easy way once again i totally suggest you guys to uh get started by just doing this directly into the desktop just in case you wanted to edit and personalize a little bit much more your store but this is guys how to set up your Shopify store into the mobile so before we wrapped up you wanted to make sure that all of these elements all your products all your inventory all your settings everything about your store is now being set up correctly so explore what's new for your store encourage to keep the momentum going guys remember that you have the storage details to fill as much information as you can speaking about the times zone speaking about the store currency and all of that adding payments and checkout is going to be really crucial to receive the money which in this case is going to be really really easy just by hitting up and setting up an actual third party provider if you want to see in a specific tutorial for any specific purpose of shopify i'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can see that we have a bunch of tutorials where you can just get started totally for free guys once again that's it for today's tutorial i hope you're excited to manage your store right from your pocket don't forget to subscribe, like, and share your mobile Shopify experience into the comments below. Remember, you have a link down below in the description so you can all get started into Shopify for free. Until next time, happy mobile setting.